so one thing I wanted to say about the uh, Max, Avanix Max, and uh, you can get this exact same gun. It's just called the Max ML now, and it's a uh, repeater, side lever action repeater. All right, what I want to say about my Max is that uh, I love this gun because it's really well balanced, and so I can actually sit here, hold it like this, and it really feels very lightweight. My favorite thing to do is just sit here like this. I can sit here like this and hold it all day, and I do. Um, and so, you know, bam, it's when you're ready to go. And uh, so this is a really good, well-balanced gun, and with a bullpup, this is one of the things you can do. This actually has a little bit of a long barrel on it. But, uh, you know, if you had a shorter barrel with a 4-inch suppressor, it would be about this size. But, you know, it allows you to get your stuff in there, you know, have your uh, barrel be short so you're not hitting it on stuff when you're going through hallways and all that kind of thing. So, <clears throat> anyway, that's just what I wanted to say about the Max is that it's really well balanced. I think it's a really good design. I love mine. Okay, I'm actually making this uh, video for one of my viewers that's interested in buying one of my guns. So, he wants to see these 9mm uh, Avanix. Now, these are still semi-auto, but as you can see, they have the full auto markings right there. So, all you do is send it to Saddle Mountain Gunsmiths and they'll convert it to full auto. Now, a full auto 9mm, pretty awesome actually. I have one. <clears throat> I have the same gun in full auto. You want to see it? It's right here. So, uh, this actually... Check it out. Yeah, it's 357, and um, it has a little bit longer barrel. I don't know why. I don't know if it has anything to do with full auto, but yeah, this is a really awesome gun, but I'm probably going to keep this one. And uh, actually, I think I filled this up to about 20 PSI, or 20 bar too much, and uh, when I went to shoot it, it blew out, so I need to send it back into Air Venturi, and they'll fix it for like 100 bucks. <clears throat> so... This one right here, I sold this on eBay for $2,500, and uh, the guy sent it back because it had a crack right there. And so um, I might try to sell this one with a crack and then include this synthetic stock with it. And then anyone who buys this, you just take that stock off, glue it together, press it together with some glue. You won't even see that crack. Put it back on. Uh, so anyway, these are both really super clean. Um, a lot of times when you order a high-end air gun, you know, they're just brand new when you get them because people either buy them and don't shoot them or, you know, any t if someone spends $2,000 on a rifle, they're going to take care of it. They're going to keep dirt off it. They're not going to drop it. They're not going to leave it lying around. So, anyway, I've had really good luck buying used rifles. Um, and so, yeah, these are both in brand new condition. They don't produce these anymore. So, um, if there's a really super cool rifle that you like, you know, grab it. And it might be worth some money someday. You never know. All right, for this shot, I'm going to be using my Avanix Monster 177 caliber sniper gun. All right, to make things a little more interesting, too, let's go ahead and see if I can shoot the head off Tom's head through these four bad guy cups. Sniper style. Hold still, Tom. Oh, heck yeah. I did it. Okay, I had to shoot at an uphill angle to get that hat off the, his head, so I did miss this one, but these are still kind of full. Let's go ahead and see if my Avanix Full Auto Max 25 caliber can take care of these guys. I'm going to just go ahead and do a 10-shot burst. <laughs> 